That's the way. Nice even contact. Remember now, don't take him off the inside rein in this direction. Hold the right rein, push him. That's it there. Push together. Good job. Now make a circle. That's it. Push him. Nice. Well done. And now develop a canter. That's it. Hold him. That's it. Hold the outside rein. Little squeeze on the left rein. That's it. So you don't let him hang so much on your left hand. And then soften. Stretch him. Good. Hold him. Push him. Little bend to the right just a tad. And then soften and stretch him. Good. Hands together though. Push. Keep your left rein closed. Well done. Little squeeze on the left rein. There. Then bend him a tad to the right and then soften your right hand when he gets. That's all right. Never mind. Just stay in trot. That's okay. Good. Now, ride him forward to walk. Right, and come over here a minute. Now, he bends much more easily to the right than to the left. Yes. And it's perfectly normal for a horse to canter better in a stiffer direction. Better to the left. Yeah. So he will canter better to the left because yeah. that's his stiffer direction. Right. Okay. And that's because the bend doesn't become an evasion when he's cantering, when he goes to the left. Right. That's his normal canter. Yeah. Okay. So he stays, so he canters, he stays better balanced in his canter to the left because he's not bending his neck. Okay. So when he goes to the right, you've got to make sure you don't let him bend his neck too much. So that he starts to stretch over his top line because he's connecting instead of bulging. Okay? So that's why you have to be so secure with your outside aids. Going to the left, you've got to make him fill out that right rein. Going to the right, You've got to hold the outside aids and not let him bulge. Okay. So you're actually going to basically ride in the same in both directions. The configuration of your aids isn't going to change that much. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I think so. Okay. All right. So let's go back. He was just going beautifully there, wasn't he? Yes. He and I both petered out. <laughs> <laughs> but he... <clears throat> right. Walk him up. He is a lot more out of, you're a lot more out of breath than he is. There's something wrong with that picture. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> Old age. Okay. Hey, I rode two big strong horses yesterday. I schooled them both for three quarters of an hour. Old age has nothing to do with it. Mm. <laughs> only when we're talking about you. Is that? Is it only when we're talking about you? <laughs> I'm able to say that now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Good. How about that? You see, you're getting used to having a little bit more feel in the rain now, aren't you? Yes. Already. And he's getting more used to you holding him, and he's comfortable there. He's telling you that. You see what I mean? It's very comfortable there. Now, you're not nearly as stiff. You're relaxing. You're allowing your hand to, to become part of his mouth. And then ride him forward to trot. Ah, 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 no, trot, 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 trot. Now, remember what I said. You've got to allow with your hand in the upward transition from walk to trot. You must allow with your hand so that he stretches into the bridle. Push, push, push. So he fills out the rein. If you take back in the upward transition, 
you restrict him and he can't go forward. There. So you receive him on the rein. That's it. Good. And circle. Good. Now in the transition from trot to canter, you must keep your hands still so that you hold them together through the transition. Hands completely still. That's it. Now, that's it. Now hold the outside rein. Hold it. Now just a little squeeze on the right rein and when he gives to you, offer the right rein back. Good. So you stretch him over his top line. There he goes. Good. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice work. And now forward to trot. Good. And change the rain now. Good. That's it. Elbows soft, elbows bent. Circle now. Squeeze the left rein. Keep the contact with the right one. Use your. Circle. Bend him. Stay in trot. Hold him. Push him. There. Now count. Good. Squeeze the left rein. Invite him to bend a little bit to the left and then off for the left rein back in the canter. You feel him stretch his back under your seat. Give the left rein. There. Give the inside rein. Nice. And now forward to trot. Good. Not too fast. That's it. Okay. Good. Well done. And now ride him forward to walk. Good job. Give him a long rein. Pat him on the neck. How about that? Yes.